Motorsport auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts and associated equipment. Visit their website for more details. Good morning, welcome to the penultimate round of the Bosra BMW Z4 and Mazda MX-5 Championship. We're at Monza, our first visit here. Simon Underhill takes pole 150.172 for Bentley Boys Racing, ahead of Van Delden and Barry Bird in third for Tech Speed Racing. David Rowan sits in fourth, Martin Gwenicke fifth, ahead of Ryan Walker for Motorsport Auctions in sixth, Phil Gregory's in seventh, ahead of Tony Bird, Barry Bird's brother. In ninth, it's Ian Thorne in the last of the BMW Z4s. Then it's on to the MX-5s. Adam Thorne once again takes pole, a 220.856 for Bowden Solutions ahead of McCain and Robson. Martin Brandon's next in the first of the team clockwork MX-5s ahead of Chris Buttrell and Darren Ford. Jan Molesver in 16th ahead of Ricky Green and Scott Malcolm. David Waldock and Francis Wannell next with Marion Bradshaw not setting the time this week. Monza is the second part of our double header. So bring from last week got moved up due to the technical issues that iRacing were having. For on board lap this week, we're going on with Simon Underhill for Bentley Boys Racing. His 150.172, the fastest of the session. Simon's got the power down after coming out of Parabolica, which is the final turn. We're now going down the main straight towards the first and second corners, which is Retifilo. This is the very, very tight right left hander, the chicane here. So cutting the curves here as much as you do without picking up a penalty. Now getting the power on and now down through towards Curva Grande. This is a long sweeping right hander. Now if you can get the power down in your are alongside another car here, it is possible to overtake round the outside. A daring move if you should choose to do that. Now coming up to our next chicane and under the bridge, this is the left right flick, this is Roger. So mounting the curbs there on the right as we come through the second part of there. Power down once again and now moving up towards turn 6 and 7 which is Lesmo. Fantastic corners these two. Keep it nice and tight through here, don't run too wide off into the gravel trap. So that's the first part of Lesmo now done. You can really cut the inside here as well to pick up a bit extra time if you can do that. Now we're going down the Saraglio straight up towards Ascari. These are very quick turns, turns 8, 9 and 10. So down and under the second bridge and back up the other hill. The first part of Ascari is a left hand and then it goes right and then back to the left again. Nice and tight through here as well, mounting all the curbs, using as much of that as possible. You can run quite wide here, coming onto the back straight and down towards Parabolica, so Simon once again on the power. When you start making your way down here, you have got to start thinking about the Parabolica, because it is quite a difficult corner to get absolutely spot on. Keep an eye on your braking markers and start to get on the brakes early. Keep it nice and tight through here. And then just let it drift out to the left hand side, and as you'll see the rumble strip comes up, Simon just correcting his line a little bit. Use as much of that as possible and keep it in a straight line now back to the start finish line. So qualifying's all over and done with then, let's head to the main race and see if Van Delden can squeeze that 10 point gap on Adam Thorne at the top of the standings. Acorn Printing are the team wear supply for Bosra and have even produced clothing items for President Quinton. See the video description to learn more. The penultimate round about to get underway then, and Simon Underhill's on pole out of Van Delden and Barry Bird. Everyone gets away well. David Rowan there on the right hand side of Martin Glenicky. Down towards the first chicane now for the first time. Hopefully we'll get through here without too many incidents. Barry Bird pulls the inside of the track. Simon's pulling wide to keep out his way. That means that Barry Bird's up into first place into the first corner. So Underhill demoted to second after the first corner. Van Delden sits just behind in third. Martin Gwenicke and David Rowan are side by side as we make our way down now towards Curva Grande. Cutting back now to the start of the MX-5s, it was Adam Thorne on pole there ahead of Alan McCain and Ian Robson. Next up it was the first of the team clock work guys ahead of Chris Buttrell, so waiting for the lights to go green now. Everybody does get away in the MX-5s, so we drift off into the distance behind the Z4s. So great start from Adam Thorne and Alan McCain. Chris Buttrell coming up on the inside of Robson now, down towards the first corner. The rest of the field following very closely behind. Jan Molesver, another good start for him as usual. He's a bit of a master of these, so into the first corner we now go. Oh, McCain can't find a move up the inside of Adam Thorne. Adam's already extended a couple of car lengths. So through the first corner we go, and down towards Curve Grande in the MX-5s. 
Going to jump on board with Simon Underhill now. He was chasing the race leader, Barry Bird. So Simon had already lost a place as we come through Ascari. He'd lost the lead of the race through the first corner. This was towards the end of the first lap. Simon getting it all sorts of directions, managing to keep it out the wall. But he does load out to Van Delden and Rowand. And then Martin Venneke came through as well. Simon dropping another three places. Chris Buttrell and Martin Brandon were having a right old battle through the opening stages of the race. This was them coming down the main straight towards Turn 1, Ritofilo. Now Martin does have the inside line, so let's see who's going to outbreak who here. Just up in the head you can see the 11 car, that's Ian Robson in third place. So here we are now into the first corner. Both cars totally misjudging it, both of them off track and picking up penalties. So here comes Jan Elizabeth and Scott Malcolm. Scott getting it a slightly sideways. Jan takes the line through the middle of Chris and Martin, and here comes Scott as well. To the leaders in the MX5s, Adam Thorne and Alan McCain. Adam is also our championship leader, but he does get it wrong through there. He's off track and picks up a penalty as well. That allows Alan McCain to take the lead in the MX5 class. Van Delden's only 10 points behind Thorne, so he'll want to get back up the front as quickly as possible. Simon Underhill was looking to make amends after his first lap, now making their way through the MX-5 traffic, chased by one of the Tech Speed Racing Z4s. Coming through Ascari though, Simon got it all wrong through here, snapped the back end out on the Z4 and put it straight into the wall. Lucky not to collect the Tech Speed Racing Z4 on the way past, Simon needing to crawl back to the pits for repairs. On board now with Van Delden, he was all over the back of Barry Bird for the lead of the race, coming down the main straight to complete this lap. Inching ever closer to Barry, there's going to be a move made now by Van Delden, he's going to pull out to the right hand side of Barry, down towards the first corner, he has got the inside line for that then. So Van Delden now inching past Barry Bird, both of them on the brakes, Van Delden really late on the brakes, and into the first corner we go, Van Delden up into first. Even more Z4 action now, we're concentrating on Gwenicke and David Rowland here on the left of the picture. There's all coming through traffic, there's one of the MX-5s, so that's Gary Bradshaw. A slight tap from Rowland in the side of Gwenicke, all three cars into the wall, Bradshaw needing repairs as is Gwenicke. Two more Z4s coming through, that is Walker and Gregory coming through there. Martin Gwenicke also needing repairs. Tony Baird had already stuck it into the wall here already once and he was going to do it again coming through a scary. So just ahead is his brother Barry Baird and Simon Underhill. Tony putting it into the wall heavily, spinning the car on track. More repairs needed for Tony. Many of the drivers this week struggling with pit entry, keeping the speed down. One of those was Ryan Walker. He made an absolute flying entry into the pits, a bit late on the brakes there. So Ryan picks up a penalty. Scott Malcolm was another driver, as were a few others. Turn our attention once again to Adam Thorne, he dropped down into third place, but a mistake from Ian Robson round the chicane allowed Adam to climb back up into second. Alan McCain was still out front in the MX-5s. Adam trying to claw back first place in this class to try and keep ahead of Van Delden in the overall standings. You just see Ian Robson there clipping the wall into Lesmo. This is Tony Bird once again, following his brother Barry Bird, coming through a scary. Now, Tony had already got it wrong a couple of times through here. This would be his third and final time to get it wrong. So, coming out of Ascari, this time rather than going across the track, he puts it into the wall on the other side. More repairs needed to Tony, a bad day racing for him. A few battles fought down the main straight and into the first corner this week. This time it is David Waldock for Tech Speed Racing and Martin Brandon there on the left hand side of the picture now in car 105 for Team Clockwork. Now Martin does have the inside line into turn one. David Waldock not putting up much of a fight and offering any resistance to the move. Great stuff for Team Clockwork, that might help them move up in the championship. Staying with the MX-5s, but to Ricky Green, we haven't seen much of him this week. This is coming through a scary chasing Chris Butterill. As we come through, as we've seen with other drivers already, it was Ricky Green's turn to get the back end of the car out and putting it into the wall. Ricky managing to keep it on track though and getting it back to the pits for repairs, not needing a tap. To an all too familiar sight now, this is Van Delden once again taking the win for a conference in the 71 care. Coming around to complete his final lap through the Parabolica. That'll do his championship chances every single bit of good as he tries to catch Adam Thorne, not to mention moving up Acorn Printing in the overall team standings. Congratulations to Matt, another well-deserved race win. Bowden Solutions produce the very best load cell mods and pedal adapters to use with Thrustmaster wheels. You can order yours now at bowdensolutions.com.
The race results for the penultimate round then, it was Van Dalden who took the win ahead of Barry Bird and Simon Underhill, Phil Gregory brings the second Bentley Boys Z4 in in fourth, Ryan Walker's in fifth ahead of David Rowland and Martin Gwenicke, Ian Thorne in eighth ahead of Alan McCain in ninth, the first of the MX5s, Adam Thorne a disappointing result for him in tenth, he wants to keep on top of it to keep up with Van Dalden, Jan Molesver finished in eleventh ahead of Chris Butterall, Tony Bird, he was the last of the Z4s but he was mingled with the MX5s, he was ahead of Martin Brandon and David Waldock. Darren Ford was ahead of Francis Winnell and Ricky Green in 18th, Ian Robson in 19th, head of Scott Malcolm and Gary Bradshaw at the bottom. Onto the overall driver's standings and that lead of Adam Thorns is cut to just 7 points going into the final round. Simon Underhill's in 3rd in the first of the Bentley Boys racing, look at that, 2 of them up the top, 3rd and 4th for Alan McCain. Martin Gwenicke's in 5th very comprinting ahead of Gregory and Malcolm, Darren Ford and Jan Molesvert are next. Barry Bird sits in 10th ahead of Ricky Green and Ian Thorne with Chris Buttrell in 13th for Acorn Printing. Actar's next for Bowdoin Solutions ahead of Talia and Walker. Further down we have Bradshaw moved up to 22nd and right at the bottom it's Jason Cox non-starter yet again for Motorsport Auctions. So what does all this mean for the team standings? Well, Bowdoin Solutions have been knocked off the top peg at last by Acorn Printing. Fantastic result for them this week. Bentley Boys are in third ahead of MKB Racing with Tech Speed Racing in fifth. They've jumped ahead of Motorsport Auctions. Team Clockwork, another disappointing week for them. They're in seventh. So that is it for round nine. Next week it's the final round at Laguna Seca. Join us for that to see who will win the championship in both the team and driver's standings. Thank you ever so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Oh,